everyone welcome back to a new video and um, in today's video i'm going to be showing you um a set well look this is the set that i well it's not set it's just three nails i'm going to show you how i created that center nail and just gonna i'm gonna add two nails to it so you can see a full set i am going to be using seraphim song from nail Kami, and i have got bittersweet these two go together so well i love these so much at the moment um, and I have also got for the center of the flower, not the center, but for the colors on the flower, I'm going to be using Campos. This is from the Poiseidon Glass Collection. And I also use um, Sea Nymph. And I will also use Siren. The Siren I use for the center of the flower. Um, I don't actually see you. Uh, see you i don't actually show you me using siren because i do it on the nails with the four flowers um but i'm just going to show you how to do half the flower i'm also going to be using velvet matte because everyone knows that it's the best matte top coat in the whole wide world and i'm going to be using my crystal totalis uv led gem glue um i'm going to be using neon orange glitter from nail sugar this is kind of a this is sort of a translucent glitter um i'm not and this one actually this is neon pink but they go so amazingly over the top of the gel polishes it's like they were made for each other you'll see later on and to create the flower i'm going to be using the white artisan gel paints i bought me some more of this because i thought i was running out but actually i've still got quite a lot in there it seriously does go a long way and um, so to start with for the nails we're going to be using well for the base color we're going to be using seraphim song and bittersweet and we're going to be creating an ombre these ombre really nicely together so i just put the gel polish on to the so that they meet at the middle then i'm taking my oh, i think this is a four millimeter brush and my my um it's a double-ended one one side's a one stroke and this side's a little teeny tiny brush i think it's four mils but i can't remember or it might be five but i think it's four but it's on their website you can go and have a look and i'm just gonna brush backwards and forwards over the center where the colors meet don't forget this is the first coat so this one doesn't have to look perfect says me faffing around as per usual but what you, you need to just pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds once you're happy with it and then you're going to do the second coat so this one needs to be a little bit more blended i suppose because obviously this is like going to be the finished look um thank you to everyone that joined me for the live last night it was it was a little bit some people were saying, oh, I didn't know about the live. Oh, I'm, you know, you were sad that you missed it. It was, I didn't want to put too much on, I didn't want to say too much about it because I only received, I was due to do the live yesterday and the gel polishes hadn't, they didn't turn up until yesterday morning. And I was a little bit worried that for, for some unknown reason, they, they wouldn't turn up or something would happen with the post. You know what I mean? And so I didn't want to say too much in case it got a little bit, in case we had to cancel it but they did turn up and i did put something on social media and i think madam glam did as well but it i suppose it was a little bit last minute but i just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who joined me anyway um i actually really enjoyed it in the end i was really nervous but i think it went well and i'd happily do one again <laughs> but back to this set i am gonna I'm trying to load my brush now with, I'm only using white. You'll see a lot of people do one stroke and they use two different colors and they'll blend them. But I'm just gonna use the white and I'm gonna add the color with the Poiseidon Glass Collection Gel Polishes just because it's gonna make my life easier because I am rubbish at one stroke. <laughs> so I'm just creating one petal and then I'm gonna flash cure that and then I'm gonna create another petal. Now these are literally just kind of triangles with, you can do them with nice straight edges, or not nice straight edges, but nice curved edges, or I'm trying to make mine a little bit jagged to give the flower a little bit of detail, but I'd seen, it was called a frangipani flower, I think, and it looked, it looked really nice, and I thought it would go really nice with 
these colors i don't know why i just thought it might look quite nice so if you want to do a whole flower you just need to i li i literally do six petals and each time i do a petal i'll flash cure it and then pop it yeah pop it in the lamp to flash cure it and then i'm just going to start another petal like this and then cure it and then obviously and just work your way around until you've got six petals and that is it basically so i'm going to full, fully cure that for one minute now and then this is when you need these colors so the very center of the flower is do i use siren no i don't think i do or i might do but campos no sea nymph sorry is going to go you don't want a lot of this because you want the majority of the color on the flower to be yellow so this this orange is just going to be the kind of center and then i'm going to take the yellow and i'm just going to fade that out so the petal gets a bit of color make sure you blend the yellow in with the orange i know this is sounding i'm making this sound a little bit confusing but it's actually quite it's a really it's actually quite a simple so I'm just blending the yellow out. And I think that looks, considering I'm rubbish at doing stuff like this, I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna cure that for 30 seconds. And then all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go around the outside of each petal with a little bit of that artisan gel paint just to define each petal. I'm gonna make sure I go down one side of, it. hang on, I'm not making sense. So you only wanna go around the top and down the side of one petal, and then you wanna follow that all the way around. So you go around the top and then down the same side of the other petal. Don't worry if you don't go, don't worry if you, like I've got a little bit of a gap there. I quite like that. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I can tell you I'm so tired and I didn't get my cup of tea last night. I just went straight to bed when I got home. Actually, that's a lie. I didn't actually quite go straight to bed. I did have a look on my iPad for a little bit um, and then I went to bed. I think I ended up going to bed at about half past 12, which was really, really late for me. But when I got home, I was really, I was like really, I don't know, I was like really hyped up. Hyped up's probably not the right word. I wasn't hyped up because I just didn't feel tired. I felt absolutely shattered before I'd done the live. And then I'd done the live and I was like, oh my God, I feel wide awake. <laughs> I am using some AB crystals just to finish off the nail. These are from Nail Sugar. These are bloody gorgeous. They come in sizes SS3 to SS16. You get a variety in the pack and you get a lot in the pack. I can't remember how many you get, but if you want to save yourself 10% off your Nail Sugar order, use code NATMUG10. Um, I'll leave everything there at the bottom with the website and everything will be in the description box too. I'm going to be using my crystal totalist now. I'm just taking a really fine-ish dotting tool and I'm going to put the glue on the nail where I want those crystals to go. So we're going to on this now, we're going to we're going to do this in a in an S shape. Um I I have to say a big thank you to Scarlet Santa for her lives on nail Kami because I I just I'm absolutely rubbish at crystal placement and watching her do nails and putting crystals on has helped me a lot with although I don't think my crystal placement is brilliant still but it's really kind of helped me and helped me visualize a lot more where the crystals can go if you see what I mean now I don't know if this cures for a minute or 30 seconds but I've been curing it for 30 seconds and it seems to be fine but if you're not sure cure it for 60 seconds and then I'm going to take my velvet matte top coat and I'm going to butt this up to the edge of the stones but not over them because they will lose their shine and you could leave this shiny you could do this a glossy now I much prefer this matte so this is what it would look like shiny now take a look at this matte oh my god doesn't that just finish it off isn't that really nice if I do say so myself <laughs> Sorry, that sounded really big headed. But I just, I think it's a really, really pretty nail. So the outside nails, I'm gonna do two coats of gel polish. And I'm using 
as well i'm using nail Kami's non-wipe top coat which is their shiny top coat but for some reason i don't show it so i'm going to i'm going to apply two coats of the seraphim song and it cures for 30 seconds each coat and then i'm and then i go over with the non-wipe top coat and then on that before you cure the non-wipe top coat you are going to take your neon pink glitter i thought i'd do it with a brush initially and i was like what this is going to take forever so in the end i just went for it and tipped like the whole not the whole pot but i just was like tapping the pot to sprinkle it over the top coat and I, they they just look like they were made for each other look isn't that just beautiful oh i love that that's so bright love it and then and i've done the same with the orange with the bittersweet this um neon orange just they just were like made for each other it was meant to be so i'm just going to tap that on I'm trying to make sure i get the majority of the excess in the pot lid look at that isn't that pretty so that's been cured and this is what the full set would look like um i hope you like this video Ta -da! i'm gonna do a close-up now now <laughs> um, if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i'll see you lovely lot tomorrow thanks for watching bye